don't have to own a car or even know how to drive one to know that today's automakers are on the lookout for new ways to improve fuel efficiency. Lighter car parts are a big help, and it's become a mission for Ontario-based auto parts molder Magna International. In December 2009, for example, Magna partnered with the National Research Council Canada to create the Magna NRC Composite Centre of Excellence, a project designed to help the Canadian auto industry develop next-generation vehicles with lighter, more durable parts that are safer, more affordable, more environmentally friendly, and more fuel efficient. Can Plastics TV recently spent some time at Magna's Promatech Research Centre in Brampton, Ontario, where William Harney, Executive Director of Research and Development at the company's Exterior and Interiors Division, brought us up to speed on the collaboration and also showed us some of the partnership's most recent fruits. Since then, we've uh, actually built the, built the centre, we've implemented a number of, uh, of key components of the, uh, of, the, of the infrastructure, including a 2,500 metric ton high-speed vertical press for doing compression moulding, um, an inline compounder that's um, uh, dedicated to compounding thermoplastics and various reinforcement fibres, including carbon fibre, natural fibre, and of course glass fibre and basalt fibre, um, to give us a platform for uh, thermoplastic composites. And recently we've, we've uh, uh, commissioned the first in North America high pressure resin transfer molding system, which is a, a high tech epoxy and resin metering system that, that uh, mixes the chemicals at high pressure and at high temperature to allow for extremely low viscosities to allow for rapid infill of the epoxy into a preformed carbon fiber uh, fabric uh, preform in the tool. Freightliner truck hood to, to the left here is an example of an existing uh, composite, composite module that we produce today for Diamond Truck North America. It comprises you know, three major other components. Uh, class A, it's primed in our facility, assembled in our facility, and behind the scenes there's a whole series of uh, reinforcing components that come together to create a module, which is then uh, shipped as a complete assembly to our customer where they finish the uh, top coat painting and assemble it to their product. This is actually a stamp component, but it's got a it's a ten layer assembly of uh, of you know of carbon fiber and epoxy, which meets uh, standards that normally be associated with the aerospace industry for performance. But again, our goal at the center of excellence is to uh, to bring this into a, a high volume automotive context. So instead of using an autoclave or auto autoclave process, which would take uh, you know hours or perhaps uh, parts of hours. We're, our goal is to have sub 10 minute cycle times button to button to uh, produce these components. This component is an example of a, a front end uh, structure that we produce using a, a long fiber thermoplastic that's directly compounded in our, our process, um, actually in, in Ontario. And uh, so that's again a 40% glass fiber reinforced uh, polypropylene that's uh, uh, made it to a steel component that's, that's stamped, e coated, and then bonded to the polypropylene structure. This is our generation one front end carrier. And uh, down below here is the um, kind of third generation technology. And here, here's where we're using, again, a combination of long fiber thermoplastic uh, injection molding components. But the difference is now we're uh, insert molding or over molding onto uh, a glass mount thermoplastic to provide uh, extremely uh, highly oriented fiber reinforcement in areas that are critical for, uh, for, for vehicle performance and creating an extremely lightweight uh, structure that really is a hybrid between uh, random, random long fiber reinforcement and extremely uh, tactical long fiber uh, prepregs.